The following question reads that sulfur dioxide is used in preservative as a preservative in wine making. And the following equation describe how sulfur dioxide dissolves. So the two equations given were H2O uh, first reacts with SO2 to produce uh, HSO3 minus iron plus H plus 1 iron. And then the second step HSO3 minus 1 uh, combines with the H uh, plus 1 to give you SO3 2 minus plus 2 H plus 1. Now, uh, the question is about which statement about these two reactions is correct. And uh, the first statement is HSO3 minus 1 iron acts as a base. Remember, a base is a, subs uh, is a substance that uh, accepts H plus ions. So we need to figure out whether HSO3 minus 1 is accepting H plus 1 ions. If you look at this equation, this first reaction, this is HSO3 minus 1. And if you look at the backward reaction, you would notice that uh, HSO3 minus 1 is accepting an H plus 1 ion. Uh, uh, or in other words, HSO3 minus 1 ion is producing OH ions. Now, whenever a base produces OH ions, those OH ions accept H plus 1 ions. So indirectly, anything that produces OH minus 1, according to Brauster Lowry, is also a base because it's capable of accepting H plus 1 ion. So, so OH minus 1 accepts H plus 1 ion to produce a water molecule. So it's a neutralization reaction. And this is accepting an H plus 1. So, so HSO3 minus 1 ion acts as a base uh, in one of the reactions. Because if you look at the, the other reaction, you would notice that uh, it's acting as an acid because... If you look at the second reaction, HSO3 minus 1, on the other side, it produces another H plus 1. So initially you had one H plus 1, now you have two H plus 1 ions. So in this second reaction, HSO3 minus 1 ion is acting as an acid. So uh, the question was, which statement of these two reactions is correct? So HSO3 minus 1 ion acts as a base, uh, is correct for one reaction, but not for the other reaction. Let's look at the second statement. So 2 acts as an oxidizing agent. For it to act as an oxidizing agent, it needs to be reduced. Now, if I if I look at SO2 in the first equation, you will notice SO2 gets converted into HSO3 minus ion. So the conversion is SO2 to SO2 gets converted to HSO3 minus in the first reaction. Now, uh, for uh, for it to act as an oxidizing agent, it must get reduced. The oxidation state of sulfur over here is plus 4 because oxygen is minus 2. And over here, sulfur is again plus 4 because oxygen is minus 6. Uh, uh, then you have 1H, which is plus 1. That's uh, uh, That would give you plus uh, minus 5. Then it has a minus charge, so S must be plus 4. So no oxidation or reduction is happening. The same is the case with the second equation where uh, HSO3 minus 1, there is actually no SO2, so we don't need to be concerned with that. The second statement is definitely wrong. If you look at this third statement, option C, it says SO3 minus 1 acts as an acid. An acid is a substance that produces H plus 1 ions. So for it to act as an acid, it must produce H plus 1 ions. So SO3 minus 1 is present over here so for it to act as an acid if you look at the reverse reaction it must be capable of producing an H plus 1 ion but it's not doing that it's actually accepting H plus 1 ion which is why it's acting as a base so this uh, option C is also incorrect it's not acting as an acid it's acting as a base the last one is that SO3 2 minus acts as a reducing agent which is also incorrect we've already figured this out that there is no reduction or oxidation happening. It's not a redox reaction. Both of these reactions, there is no change in oxidation state. So whether you're talking about oxidizing agent or reducing agent, the terms do not apply because if, a, if it's a reducing agent, it must get oxidized. But there is no redox reaction happening. So option D is definitely uh, incorrect as well. So you're only left with option A, which was partially correct. That HSO3 minus 1 acts as a base. Now, in the first reaction, it is acting as a base. So, so option A is the only option left. And that's your correct option.